the three things I would tell any caregiver, you are a super important part of the process. So understand, even though you're not a doctor and you don't feel like there's anything you can do, what I found Stephen needed more than anything was the feeling that he was living a normal life. And only you can do that. You can give your your spouse, your dad, your mom, your whomever it is who's, who's got cancer, you can give them a way to feel normal. One of the hardest things for me was to figure out how do I help him. I'd come home going, oh honey, I found this study. He'd be like, yeah, I already found it. Yeah, I already read it. Oh yeah, I, I saw that. And I was sort of left going, well, how do I help? What am I gonna do? And at one point I remember distinctly turning to him and say, how do I help you through this? Like, what can I do? And he looked at me and he said, can you figure out the food thing? Because I, I don't even know what to do. That let me be his partner again. You know, our whole marriage has been a partnership. And so in this sort of time of real crisis, to be able to step up and say, I can do the food thing. You know, I can do it. So 21 meals a week, that's on me. Exercise is the other big thing, right? We exercise together, you know, make that part of your life. I think that uh, it's important for caregivers to know, like you need to find someone you can talk to. That's not your spouse. That is not gonna talk to your spouse's friend. Have that one person that you can, you know, spill all the, all the terrible fears that you have um, away from him. And just put a voice to them and then put them away. Instead of having that fear nag at you, you can just let it out and let it go. I was living with two feet, you know, one in the world of, okay, here and now we're gonna solve this together. And the other foot in, oh my gosh, what if I lose my husband? What, you know, like how, how am I gonna live? How, how do I breed uh, without him? I started a journal that was every day, we'd sit at dinner and we'd write three things we were grateful for. And that process of every day finding things that I was grateful for really changed me and helped keep me in the present and not off at some imagined future where everything was miserable. I think that that helped. It helps everything. Your attitude helps. It's, it's everything. There is always, always, always hope. <laughs>